Hello there, welcome to Brian Lomax Movie Talk and my review of Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. This is a film that is directed by some dude, Jeff Burr. Um, it has a bunch of people. One of them just happens to be Viggo Mortensen. Some franchises, you know, they're just not for you, are they? Uh, you, you come across them every once in a while and they do kind of, quite frankly, make you slowly die inside and lose the will to live um this is probably that franchise for me uh, like even friday the 13th had its moments it was you know entertaining to to a degree it kind of knew what it was i guess uh but uh yeah this franchise third film in and i gotta say it ain't improving um I'm reliably told that the next entry is even worse, but who knows. So, honestly, I, I got to the end of this and it, I, I watched it about two weeks ago and I, I kind of came to the conclusion that I wasn't going to bother reviewing it, you know? I just, I'd get through this franchise and I'd just do a ranking video and, and that would be it. But I thought, you know, whatever, I committed to it, so let's just do it, let's just get on with it. Hence the reason I'm sat here now talking to you. Um, but honestly, when I sat down to record this review, I couldn't remember anything about this film other than the fact that Viggo Mortensen was in it. Um, nope, nothing. So I went on Wikipedia and I read the plot synopsis and yeah, it kind of all came flooding back. Although I gotta say, when I read that plot synopsis, it does seem a little bit all over the place. Like, just, yeah, characters randomly thrown in, popping up, uh, disappearing. It's just, it ain't a good film. Um, yet, for some reason, when, when I did watch this, I do remember enjoying it more than I did the second one. I think maybe because the second one is just so grotesque. It does try very hard to yeah make you feel ill um whereas this one seems a lot more toned down i i did go online afterwards and read up about it and yeah apparently they did cut a lot of stuff they cut a lot of gore out of this they really toned it down as that wasn't particularly an element i enjoyed about the first two i'm not that bothered that they cut it from here i guess uh, i think Viggo Mortensen as an actor, he's a great actor, let's face it, um, you know, he would obviously go on two great things after this, but you can, you can tell, you know, you can still tell, you look at him in this and, and you know, just by looking at him, there is something there. there, there are other actors in this movie where you just don't get that, uh, you know, there's something about him that is interesting to watch, despite the uh, yeah the film that he's stuck in um, I, I do think that his character is totally out of place though in this film because he's far too clean far too clean cut far too <clears throat> normal um, I mean all the characters in the previous films have kind of stuck out like a sore thumb possibly the the dad character um, you know from the first two he 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 kind of blended in a bit, I guess. Um, although there's still a bit something off kilter about him. But yeah, I, I, I just I think for the, this bunch of characters, this family that is just so deranged and, and they live in squalor and dirt and, and just, yeah, they're just, they're just minging, a minging group of people. To have this guy, this, this Mortensen character, kind of looking so clean and fresh, it, it just doesn't ring true to me. Um, the plot in which he and this other guy, this gas station attendant, who also turns out to be a family member, kind of doing whatever they're doing at the beginning of this film, where it appears they're fighting, it appears that Tex, the Mortensen character, has caught this guy in the act, doing the whole peeping Tom routine in his gas station, and then they fight it out. It's, it's like in retrospect of you know of of who Tex turns out to be, it doesn't make a right lick of sense to be honest um, that they would take it 
as far as they do. Uh, it's it's just it's a you know it's, it's an obvious attempt at trying to make you you know you're trying to have that moment where it's, surprise Tex is a member of the family, but you kind of see it coming even though you shouldn't. Um, and and then when you when it does arrive, you're like yeah. It don't make sense. Why? Why would they have been so? Yeah, whatever. Um, I'm struggling. I'm really struggling. Ken Forey, uh, he's all right in a, in an entertaining kind of off the wall kind of way. He's just some random survivalist who turns up when when our two main characters again it's, oh, it's all over the place I'm, I'm thinking back to it now and it's just stuff just happens so I, yeah okay like I, I don't you know if, if Tex and this other dude are gonna kidnap these two people if that was their original intention just just do it already get it over and done with um, but if you're gonna play with them then play with them don't don't have some weird tete a tete thing going on with each other in which you you have to fake the other one of one of yours deaths only to pop up again it, it, yeah no i don't know what to tell you i really don't it wasn't fun um it it was depressingly dull and just forgettable that's that's the problem it was forgettable in every sense of the word uh like i say 2 weeks later struggling big time to remember a single thing about this movie i i you know like i say when i was watching it i was like well it's on par with the second one i guess but i've only seen the second one once and i still remember every moment in that you know you can either accept that as a good or a bad thing but whether I liked that movie or not, I still remember it. You know, director Toby Hooper did something with it to make it stick in my mind. Uh, Burr, who, who made this one, he clearly doesn't do anything because this, this film does not linger in the mind. I, I can barely remember anything. I couldn't remember anything without going to Wikipedia and reading through that plot synopsis again. Um, yeah. I... I I'm not going to dwell any more on it than that, to be honest. Um, I'll give it a one and a half out of five. It's probably being generous, to be perfectly honest. What about you? Have you seen Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3? If so, whatever.